Right, part two. Um, I sprinkled some Osmocot down uh, on the bottom of the tank, and that's uh, this stuff right here. It's a controlled release plant food, and it is for terrestrial plants normally, but uh, after some research, I found out that you can actually use it for um, the aquarium, but in a lesser amount. Um, how it works is basically um, the nutrients are inside the capsules and um, as you water the plants uh, the the water will you know do its thing uh, it will go into the um, capsule and uh, the nutrients will release uh, it's basically osmosis that's where the name osmocot um, came from and it's slow release but um, of course in aquariums you're loading the whole tank with water so you don't need that much but uh, I think I might have overkilled on the on the amount but I'm not gonna add any livestock in anytime soon so that should be fine it's really there to kickstart um, as a kickstart it's a kickstart for the plants um, you know uh, it's just allow it to get some initial nutrients and stuff but because I, I don't plan on dosing uh, the tank uh, very often. Um, yeah, that's, that's I think that's everything for this part, really. Um, you can use um, Osmocart when you fill the wa water into the tank uh, and have everything running, like a, like a root tab sort of thing, but um, you've got to put it in some... I ice cube trays and uh, freeze freeze the tablet and stick it down into substrate but you've got to make sure that it's in the substrate because uh, if it floats out it will leach a lot of um, you know uh, nit nitrate and whatnot and ammonia maybe urea as well but uh, you know use it with caution and um, I'll come back with a second part when it's done